Welcome to Football Federation Australia's Small Sided Games DVD. Small Sided Games are modified forms of 11 a side football designed to meet the needs of players under the age of 13 who have very different developmental characteristics and needs from adult players. Small Sided Games are about learning, self experiencing, having a lot of touches on the ball and above all having fun. The philosophy of Small Sided Games focuses on enjoyment and freedom of expression with limited emphasis on coaching per se, particularly in the formative years of a player's development. Many of the most talented football players in the world started their careers playing Small Sided Games. It's a proven format which has played an important role in the development of players worldwide. Hi, I'm Rob Baum, National Technical Director, Football Federation Australia. Street football has always been the basic developer of all the top talented players. Replicating this by playing small-sided games is the only solution to producing creative players. As a Dutchman, I like to mention Robin van Persie from Arsenal as one of the most recent examples of Dutch street footballers, and Johan Cruyff as maybe the greatest icon of all time. Why small-sided games? You do not throw your children into the big ocean to teach them how to swim. You also do not teach young children between 6 and 12 years of age how to play football in an 11-a-side game where they, like the swimmer in the ocean, may drown without touching a ball. All of the most talented players have learned how to play either in the street, in the park or on the beach. The Brazilians on the beach, like Ronaldo, the Argentinians on the streets, like Maradona, and the African players on parks, many of whom are forced to play on rough lands in their early playing years, like Drogba. When I was a young man, we used to put our clothes on the street to form two goalposts, and used a ball formed by elastic bands and played small-sided games before and after school hours. The only time we stopped playing was when the policeman came. We had to hide or otherwise we might lose our ball. With the present traffic problems, it's very clear that there is no room for children to play in the streets. Unfortunately, finding a big park in the big cities is also becoming more and more difficult. Therefore, we need to bring the children together, play small-sided games and give them a safe ground where they can experience the fun and joy of touching the ball many times and scoring many goals. Small-sided games is about learning, self-experiencing, having a lot of touches on the ball and above all, as David Beckham recently said, a lot of fun. The future of your son or daughter or pupil as a player for fun or as a future Socceru or Matilda must begin with small-sided games. As always, member federations, associations, clubs, coaches and officials will play a key role in changing the playing environment for our young players. Small-sided games are modified forms of 11-a-side football designed to meet the needs of players under the age of 12, who develop very differently to adult players. The philosophy of small-sided games focuses on enjoyment and freedom of expression with limited emphasis on coaching, particularly in the formative years of players' development. I hope you enjoy the Small Side and Games DVD and find it beneficial. Should you require any assistance, don't hesitate to contact your association, member federation or football federation Australia. Small-sided games provide the following benefits. More repeated touches of the ball. With fewer players on smaller fields, children experience far more repeated touches of the ball during the game. Touching the ball more often in the game and training environment gives the children more opportunity to be active, to improve, to learn and to enjoy the game. More shots on goal. The smaller fields are more appropriate for the child's age and allow for far more opportunities to be in a position to shoot for goal. As they develop through the different age playing formats, children are able to discover and use the entire field more effectively. More 1v1 attacking situations. Fewer children on smaller fields provides greater opportunity for the individuals to beat opposing players in 1 versus 1 situations. As a result, 
they will also have a more realistic chance of getting into a position to shoot at goal. Without fear of winning or losing, children should be encouraged to attempt and develop their skills to beat an opposing player in a 1v1 situation, both in a game environment and in training drills and activities. Repeated decision-making experience. Less players on smaller fields provides the opportunity for repeated decisions to be made within the game environment. Importantly, given the developmental stage of the players involved, these decisions are also less complicated. So, with more touches on the ball and the repeated opportunity to dribble against opponents and to shoot at goal in a less cluttered environment which assists the process of decision making, players are more likely to enjoy success which fosters enjoyment and ongoing participation. Emphasis on player development. The emphasis of small-sided games is on player development, participation and enjoyment. To enable this, it is important to remove the importance of winning and losing. Coaches, parents and team supervisors should encourage children to play the game and to use it to attempt and develop their skills. The pressure of winning or losing should not dictate the way children play the game and above all, children should be encouraged to enjoy their football experience. Balls in play far more often. Research of small-sided games overwhelmingly suggests that the ball is in play more often on the smaller field with fewer players. By encouraging the children to keep the ball in play, small-sided games also removes the relevance of the big kick for young players. Small-sided games encourages skill development by greater repetition of meaningful contact with the ball, which is both more fun and develops technique from the earliest of ages. Freedom of expression. Having removed the pressure of winning and losing, children can attempt and develop their skills throughout the match. Children are not regulated in set positions in early stages and have freedom to play and experience all facets of the game, including attack, midfield and defence across the entirety of the playing field. More efficient use of facilities. Clubs will be able to use their playing fields more efficiently. Multiple small-sided games pitches can be set up on existing mini and regulation size fields, as well as being able to use open grass areas surrounding your existing pitches. The use of markers to indicate field dimensions and markers and poles as goals or pop-up or portable goals allows for ease of setup and transfer of fields between the age groups. Easier to attract volunteers. Parents who are new to the game or even older children are likely to be more comfortable occupying the role of coach, supervisor or game leader for children playing small-sided games. At this age, children don't need to be coached to any great extent. Volunteers don't need to have a great understanding of the game to be able to carry out the role of game leader effectively. Therefore, finding volunteers for these roles will become significantly easier. Small-sided games are divided into four age-appropriate formats. These formats are under 6, under 7 and 8, under 9 and 10, and under 11 and 12. All formats reflect the sequential development of the young player through their first years of football and are designed to prepare players for 11 versus 11 on a regulation football pitch by the time they reach the under 13 age group. The staged implementation of these formats is vital to the successful rollout and member federations, zones and associations can progress through these over the next two to three years. In 2009, Football Federation Australia expects the small-sided games format for under six to eight years will be implemented throughout Australia and by 2011 the small-sided games format will be entirely implemented up to and including under 12s throughout Australia. Some associations may choose to accelerate their move into small-sided games across the age groups that are encouraged to ensure they can properly plan and service the demand related to these new formats. The recommendations for playing numbers, field, goal and ball size, 
goalkeeper, competition and the role of the referee as they are set out for all age groups should be strictly adhered to and are crucial to upholding the philosophy of the move to small-sided games. Whilst the use of painted line markings and goals are ideal, clubs should not feel they are mandatory. Small-sided games can be played using markers to signify the field and goals. Markers are used to do this in many areas that may already play small-sided games and work successfully, and they are ideal for the ease of transfer between field sizes.